watch. Good morning. I feel good. Yes. Oh, boy. Let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you something, man. I'm a grown-ass man. Most of you are grown-ass Hebrews. I will not question why you believe what you believe. Let me begin. Woke up this morning. I put a meme out there. I didn't create the meme. A lot of cut and paste, a lot of cut and paste. I steal a lot from you folks. You are good. Right? Put up something about the 12 tribe child. I don't know something about Gad. Why? It was harmless. <laughs> you know? You know, I'm, I'm brisk about the memes because I'm trying to stay relevant. I'm trying to be a social media influencer at 50 fucking six and I'm making some progress. Maybe. But, let me tell you something, man. When I post something, <laughs> when something shows up on my timeline and you happen to catch it, that is not an invitation to begin to ask for justification of my gut damn stance. Let me tell you, man. I ain't here to explain myself, motherfuckers. If you lost your mind, do, do I ask any of you why you believe what you believe? Hell no. It's my, my fucking business. And I stay in my proverbial spiritual lane. How dare I? How dare anyone else question why? Motherfucker got the nerve to tell me, <laughs> and, and you're saying that why? And, and are you are you are you serious? Did you did you look at some of my videos? Have you seen some of my posts? You surely should not tempt the light fantastic of Doug fucking Rice, partner, because I'll deliver. I'm grown. I said what the fuck I said. You don't have to like it. You don't have to accept it. And I'm not telling you to believe. What I believe. No. No, I'm just making a statement. No fucking questions. The fuck? What are you, what are you, what are you catching it? Hmm? Are you catching that disease where, you know, Negro thought is policed? Are you, 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 you sliding up a little too close to them folks, pardon me, asking me why I said what the fuck I said. I said it. It's said. It's done. Okay, so we're done there. All right, 1003, just short opening. You know, trying to get it done. We know what we do here. Black news. And I decided to get you at 10 o'clock my time. See if I could stop some of you from going to church this Sunday morning. Please do not do that. Mm -hmm. I need to stop you. If you're getting dressed, if you're doing your hair, if you got the makeup, if the war paint's going on, if you're smacking it all upside your face, ready to shine in church, let me stop you cold. Don't do that. See, all they're going to do to you at church is lie to you. And I mean a, a deep, deep lie. And you know, being so close to the Warren, I'm sure they'll take some collections for those poor folks in Ukraine. Now, let me tell you, if you have to go to church, if you cannot resist, if the Doug Wright Show is not enough to stop you, then you go. <laughs> and you know, you're about to reach in your purse and put a five in the plate, and then they tell you that it's going to Ukraine. You need to get the fuck up and walk the fuck out. Don't you give no money. Don't do that. Brothers and sisters need shit right here. If you want to give $5, just go out to the Circle K, find the nearest brother and just hand it to him. Don't. All right. Ah, how we doing? Sunday. Your weekend's almost over. I know. But you had to get a bit of duck grace for you. Head back in on Monday. Surrounded by these motherfuckers. Boy, they get embarrassed. Dear God. What? Whoa, what's on their mind? What's on their minds? Well, there's some nefarious shit, obviously. I mean, uh, you know, war raging, Putin just thumbing his nose at the United Snakes of America and 
prophetically so. Isn't it wonderful to watch prophecy unfold in front of you? Hebrews, wake up! You're in the middle of prophecy. You're the generation Jesus spoke of. I mean, that's, you know, that's pretty big, right? I mean, you got to think of it, right? When when these things occur, and it's like, oh, mm -mm, generation, we're it. Howdy. And so many of us waking up <clears throat> as we are. I want to invite each and every one of you, and you have the chance if you get a moment, if there's an opportunity, be sure that you separate yourselves from this world. You, you invite the world to take a flying leap off a bridge. You understand? As it, as it combats trying to infiltrate your psyche, just resist, just look at it knowingly that it's not long. It'll be gone. All right, so what do we do here? First, we drink Folgers. Everybody got their goddamn Folgers? This is Sunday morning. You should have already had it. All right, here we go. Oh, my God. Oh, who thought of coffee? Give that person a medal. Folgers. Uh, so uh, here's what we do. Black news. That's the, the left, the right of it, the, the center. Uh, um, my job is to actively, proactively caution you against caucasity and making sure that you avoid it at every turn. It is a sneaky little devil. You know, it'll, it'll snatch you. Pretty soon, you'll be lost. But look to me as a beacon. You know, just a big, big mouth, you know. You probably won't see me, but you will fucking hear me. Hear me! Hebrews! The world and its desire is leaving. <laughs> so it's a way out, baby. Oh! First they're going to reset it, put... You know, Moab in charge for a minute. At which point, prophecy will continue to unfold. And, well, we'll just see how it goes. Okay, so, uh, this comes from, so sorry, I don't fucking do, do it. Does it look like I need some goddamned help from any one of you? What do you want to do? What do you want to talk it out? What do you want to do? You want to get in the minds of black men? Is that it? Huh? You've never seen this before, huh? It's, it's a bit disturbing, a little shocking. Huh? You don't like this shit, huh? huh? Why? I tell you why, because when I get that goddamn grin off my fucking face, shit makes you nervous, huh? You don't know what to think. That's exactly where the fuck I want you. All right! So, black news. Uh, that's what we do. We peruse black news. This show is for Hebrews, for Negroes, for those individuals that identify with the transatlantic slave trade. If you have no association with that, then you might not fucking belong here. I don't want to get anybody in their goddamn feelings, but I tend to do that shit. Let's continue. Black news! All right, so uh, you know what I do. Uh, good opening. Uh, nine minutes. I was going to do on a 12 chart. I just said nine. It's too much. If I'd have done that, I'd have probably been on what extended the narrative, what, about 12 minutes? Let's get to some news. All right, here we go. All right, so uh, this is what I do. You know, I get in front of the computer. I look up black news. I would look up Negro news, but I wouldn't get the same results. Okay, so uh, let me see. First but not last, black girls see themselves in court pick. Yes, but you must first betray Negroes upon seating. Remember that. I put that on my Twitter. I said, listen, she's going to get up there. Yes, she will. Oh, it'll be a climb. They're going to throw dirt. They're going to throw a lot of shit at this poor sister. She's, man, you talk about dragging your knuckles through glass. Just to sit on the Supreme Court, just to, you want to breathe that rarefied air, don't you? You don't fucking breathe no different, but you'll find that out. You'll get up there. The first thing you're going to do is betray Negroes, and we all know it. Oh, it's in the deal, baby. <laughs> it's in the deal. No, 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 no. No, Biden got on the phones, had Kamala listening in. Listen, now, I'm going to pick you, but you do understand the first thing you have to do is betray Negroes. You know that, right? A 
okay, we'll see you at 2. 2, 2.30, two, 3, 3 is good. Okay. Whatever. Yeah, first but not last, black girls see themselves in the court pick. But just remember what you have to do to get up there now. Remember who you have to be to sit up there. I need you to understand the type of frame of mind you have to possess. Now, <clears throat> I'll give you an example. Clarence Thomas. Still feeling the warm and fuzzies about Miss Jackson, are you? <laughs> you got to be joking, right? Oh, you see that she's black and you're like, oh, sister, oh, black girl magic, right? Motherfuckers, please. Oh, my God, you know they handed her 30 pieces of silver before she walked in the door. Let's continue. All right, so uh, let me see. The only one in the room, Judge Jackson, Supreme Court hearing spotlight, lack of black women in the Senate. I think I read that. We know that. Okay. Here we go. Let's continue. <laughs> I just love, uh, you know, black news, it always delivers. Sometimes I got to, you know, scroll down and really, really dig, but I find it. You know, uh, we talked about the, uh, you know, if you work for Google, you know, I got a call from Google once. Sure did. They didn't hire me. But, <clears throat> I mean, if you work there, you'd think, you know, this is like cutting edge, bleeding edge shit in this. Ain't nobody got time for no racism up in Google, baby. Shit. <laughs> the devil's a lie. Mm hmm. Lawsuit accuses Google of systematic racial bias against black employees, alleges that it pays them less and denies them promotions. Well, what the fuck did you think was going to happen? I mean, I'm, I'm just expecting it now. I'm just, listen, you know, Woody Harrelson said it best. He said, expect fuckery from everyone, and you won't be disappointed by anyone. You take that shit to the bank. All right, let's continue. Anyway, all right. Hey, you know, this war, man, uh, this war is really, uh, really getting into it, huh? I mean, they're just... Wow, he's bringing it. What's up with Pooty Poo, man? I mean, I thought he was going to be cool. Now they're talking about meeting face to face. You know, Vladimir Selinsky and Vladimir Putin. It's interesting that I know these names so well. I only wonder, was there not one Syrian that had any guts? Was it not a single Syrian that we could have picked in a crowd to say, hey, you know, can you speak for your people? Maybe we can put you in front of a camera. Maybe if you talk directly to the United States Senate and Congress, you might get something done. I never saw the opportunity for a Syrian to get on TV and talk to the fucking Congress. Never saw any of your minis. All the children, loss of life, death. Certainly there's one. You may. They can speak English, right? Hey, you're bombing us. Can you stop? And send money? I mean, I would have watched, right? I'm just trying to figure this out because, you know, I mean, $14 billion. Motherfucker. Boy, let me tell you something. I need you to understand there, there are equal amounts of Negroes as there are Ukrainians. About 40 million plus. And they got these folks $14 billion and used a rifle to deliver it. That, that's how fast. I, 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 I don't even know, where did they get $14 billion? I don't, you, 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 ah, no, 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 let's get that. No, what the fuck? How many of you pine on and on about reparations? You, you, you believe me now, right? You believe me about reparations now, you know you're not getting a goddamn thing now, right? I mean, if this has not proven it, this should put it to bed, okay? No more exploratory committees. Can somebody tell Gavin Newsom, hey, disband that. They're getting paid anyway, you know they are. To talk about the possibility of reparations. No, that's a paycheck. No. You just gave them fucking $14 billion. But we need an exploratory committee to investigate the possibility of reparations for Negroes. Let's talk about it. How you feeling? How you feeling? 
You feel at home? You know, $14 billion would do a lot for black community in America. Can you imagine the infrastructure? My goodness, I just picked two, three cities and just go to town. Detroit? Oh, $14 billion? Oh, standing ovation, baby. No. Oh, you'll send it over to Ukraine? Where'd that $14 billion come from? Oh, yes, you guys pay taxes, don't you? That's a real slap. Like a like a loogie with a slap aftermath in the face of Negroes in America. <laughs> Only because there's just 44 million of them. And there's 44 million of us. And you didn't get a goddamn dime. <laughs> How you feel? Uh-huh. Mm, let it sink in, motherfuckers. All right, so we continue. Please, shot. Oh, God, yeah. What is it? Dude, just out of... I got to read this one. So the guy was getting an iced tea. Now, look, police shot paralyzed black man who was grabbing an iced tea from the car. Now, look, black man in New Jersey getting iced tea out of his car last month when police smashed the vehicle window, shot him four times, his lawyer says, in a new civil hood. Jesus Christ. You guys okay? You need a hug? I mean, what's your... So the, you, four times? I mean... Just clipped him, winged him, and he's like, hey, don't move up. Shoot you again. No. Paralyzed now from the chest down as a result, and they're going to sue. And I need you to understand something, folks. Please bring this in. Those police officers feel justified in what they've done. There's no remorse coursing through their conscience. They're probably on paid administrative leave. Enjoying the day as this young man, an innocent brother, who made the near fatal mistake of moving in their goddamned nervous presence, and is now paralyzed from the waist down, 29 years old, four cops involved in the shooting, unarmed, no officers injured. Mm, mm, mm. Well, uh, you know, you know, you try to you try to navigate through uh, the, you know, the current that is the United Snakes of America. You try to make it. You know, the only listen to me. Here's the focus. You know, you try to get home safely. That's all. You try to get home safely. You know, you leave your domicile, and you pray to God Almighty that you get home safely. And folks, let me tell you, there's a, there's at least some solace, some comfort you can get by walking about this penal colony for Negroes without a goddamn smile on your fucking face. It's an act of defiance, not smiling. You need to understand that. All right. So, I don't even want to read the story because, you see, I'll just get pissed off and, you know, I'm trying to get through the day, right? All right, so we'll just keep going. All right, so hopefully he gets just as paid as a person can possibly get being, you know, you know paralyzed from chest down for no reason. Just, you know, I just don't know, man, uh, but you keep smiling, though. Still grinning, right? Just keep doing this. All right. So, oh, black therapist struggle to share mental health knowledge on TikTok. Please do not take any mental health advice on this platform. I'm begging you. Don't do that. Listen to me. You need to understand the psychology of the psychiatrist that uses TikTok as a method of trying to help you. No, that no. He's all fucked up. He's all and plus, it's free. It's free. If it would, look, it means it's worthless. If he's willing to get on TikTok and give you free advice about your psychoanalysis, do not take that shit. You didn't pay for shit. He does not have a stake in the game. And if you go jump off a bridge after looking at a TikTok video, well, I don't know what to fucking tell you. Oh, yes. Oh, 
Hey, uh, look, don't get in your feelings because I posted a picture of somebody saying throw the whole family away. Don't get in your goddamn feelings. I said what I said. I didn't say to throw your family away. People have been kind of getting on me on that. Okay, young Mr. Wade and his wife and his daughter's son. You know, and then I got him here trying to tell me all of the sexual, you know, uh, you know, variants that may occur throughout human history and yada, yada. I get it, man. I wasn't talking about any of that. I was talking about the photo which showed the problem. <laughs> Okay, let's, you know, give me a, give me a fucking break. It's not us. Nearly everything that we do in this country is not us. We need to re-examine all of the things that we have learned while being forced to learn it. You understand that when we got here, we had a culture. We had a religion, we had a culture, we had a community, we had all these things. And through force of death, threat of the whip, all of these things, that was extracted, thrown away, and destroyed, replaced with that which we have today, a caricature, a clown-ass image of Negroes doing clown-ass things for clown-ass reasons, among clowns. You feel at home? You're set apart. You know, we need to start considering ourselves as set apart, a people of special possession. This fact is the one thing that will unify us. Just, just acknowledging and accepting that we are one family of Negroes. And for those that don't like that, they'll go pound sand, man. You know, how dare you get in your feelings because I encourage us to be about us. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. How dare you? I mean, we got Chicanos por la Casa. We got the JDL. All this shit. But when it comes to discussing something exclusively regarding Negroes, suddenly motherfuckers get in a goddamn feelings. Oh, well. All right, so uh, bomb threats still happening at black colleges. Wonder why. What is it about black colleges? What is it about these higher learning, lower learning facilities? I mean, they're acting out in school or they want to blow up our school. Is it the schools? What the is it? It's the school, stupid. What is it? I mean, you wanna you know hold slave auctions at your schools and beat people with rips and okay, blah blah. And then you wanna call in bomb threats to our school. Why? Because you're not able to do that at that school. Oh, you want in. That's what's going on. They wanna bring that little bit of flavor to the historically black colleges and universities and not being able to do that. They just wanna blow the whole damn thing up. Shit! Is that it? Do you not feel wanted? <laughs> is that what the fuck? Is that it? You feel rejection. The very mention of an historically black college and university speaks rejection to some. They just, in their minds, they just, it's an anti them. No, do we fucking care about you like that? You call in bomb threats. Are you mad the school exists? You don't go to the school. You'll never set fucking foot on school property, but you'll call to bomb the school. So here's the problem. How are you going to bomb the school? You don't like black people, so how are you going to get on the school grounds in order to set said bomb so that discussion ensues? You, you fuck, you've, you've painted yourself into a goddamn corner. Now what are you going to do? Okay. Six suspects. Six suspects. What are you bored? The fuck is wrong? You calling bomb? Oh man, don't do that. Did you ask somebody about that before? Maybe you want to check with your homie first. Hey man, I got that. No, 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 don't do that. Dumbass. <sighs> okay, he's walking every D.C. street while wearing a black and brown Lives Matter sign. He's also white and voted for Trump. What? 
I don't even know where that came from. That's a guy, that's a headline. That's a headline. And it got a picture of the guy. I'll read it again. He's walking every Washington, D.C. street while wearing a black and brown Lives Matter sign. Was he got a new shit? A picture of the guy. I'll read it again. He's walking every Washington, D.C. street while wearing a black and brown Lives Matter sign. Was he got a new shit? Okay. Either go sit down or go get your water and I'll get your goddamn medication. Some of these people need to be medicated. You know, new thing. I don't know if everybody heard this. This is like interesting. Um, there are doctors, <laughs> physicians, that have stated publicly that they are prescribing Alzheimer's and dementia medication to the folks in Congress and in the Senate. Let that sink in. Let me repeat that. Okay. There are doctors <laughs> that have openly admitted that they have prescribed both medication for dementia and for Alzheimer's to folks that are in the Senate and in Congress. And then I, oh, how do you feel now? Oh, oh the wheels are just falling off. It was just, yeah. Well, boy, I never thought it would come uh, just unglued. I, you know, I mean, we always, you know, they're racist, and they're hateful, murderous, just, ah. But we, can all, we always count on them keeping the shit together. And now that's gone. And it all started when one of them decided Take their hand, reach down, smear some shit, and spread it on the wall. Somebody should have got a video of that shit. Anyway, continue using what video. Officer used stun gun on black driver in traffic stop. Wow, thank God he didn't mistake it for his fucking gun and shoot him by accident. Well, at least he grabbed the right thing. We need to give him a standing ovation. He did his job. In other words, officer used stun gun on black driver in traffic stop. Black driver's life saved. The training paid off. Isn't that awesome? You now know the weight differential between a fucking firearm and a plastic stun gun. Thank you for not killing him. I'm certain he appreciates it as well. And he was a delivery man. Okay. Right. I get you. What, 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 what was it? So a cop killing Black Panther to deliver campus speech as, as uh, I guess, uh, New York City, so, uh, University of New York ignores protest. Ah. I mean, that's what you want to do. I wouldn't do that. I mean, but that's how you want to roll. I don't know what you're going to say. <laughs> don't do what I did. What is the deal? That's a bad decision. Somebody should have got a no, no, you don't need to say shit, man. Go sit the fuck down. Come on. All right. How's it right now? It's 1029. Hope everybody's good. Having a good day. Having a good time. I am. Enjoying myself. I want to thank uh, all of you for giving me the opportunity to talk to you. Thank my uh, moderators. Tina and Ron Anderson. Mr. Anderson. Thank you so much for keeping the room clean, clear. And, uh, you know, you guys uh, you guys are awesome. Uh, you know, look, I just have fun. That's all. I just, listen, this is part parody, part satire, part serious as fucking hell. You choose. All right. Oh, about this dude getting iced tea from his car. Look, let me tell you something. You know, I was going, you knew, you knew. Look, man, <laughs> you hear the sirens, quick movement between men with suits and badges on. At that moment, you don't reach for iced tea, dude. You don't, what's wrong with you? Have you lost your mind? No, you don't reach for iced tea. You don't, what you do is, is you fucking freeze. Do you understand? You don't reach for iced tea. 
I hope you get paid. But you don't reach for ice tapes. Not that. All right, meet the black hairstylist making history at the Oscars this year. What kind of fucking story is that? Oh, I forgot they passed the right the law about uh, black people not having to wear their hair the way that white people want us to wear that. Ain't that something? They literally had to pass a law to stop motherfuckers from enforcing their fucked up ass view of how a sister should look. And you know what? Let's just go there. Boy, they had to pass that law. Mm -mm. What you doing? You said something about that girl's hair? Oh, dude, I'm going home, man. Where'd she go? Man, look. <laughs> that shit went to Congress and passed. Say something else about my hair, motherfucker. <laughs> what are you doing? What did you say? No, sir. Listen, man. Let me come on over here. Let me tell you, man. Look, bro. That's no. That's a non-territorial touch. Don't even, don't even look at it unless you're smiling. <laughs> Lord, they stop fucking with sisters on that. I'm just imagining the fire that got smacked out of some. I'm just imagining it. Just, it just had to happen. We were like, what? <laughs> just, anyway. Good to know that. Why it took 233 years to get the first black female Supreme Court nominee? Why did it take 233? What? Did you write that Bloomberg on MS? What? Is, like, just two words that all I need to. Why it took 233 years to get the first black female Supreme Court nominee? Uh, the, the story's pretty short. It says white male. That's what it says. It's the first black female. I guess that's the answer. All right. Moving on. Everybody having fun? So am I. I'm hoping that those that can't resist and get in their fucking feelings say something so that Detrina and Antoine kick you out. Or I hope even more that some of you resist the temptation to say a fucking thing. Learn something. And maybe save your lives by following us the fuck out of here when time comes. <sighs> More on that later. All right, let's keep going. All right, uh, Wells Fargo sued by Black Bar for refinance redlining, of course. Well, you, 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 that's going against scripture. You cannot build in someone, you, you cannot build and you occupy. Someone else has to. So they'll fight you at every turn. To get successful in this country. Do you understand that? They'll make it as difficult for Negroes as possible to get anything done. I mean, that's that's interwoven into the framework of this society. That we must be on the bottom of the barrel. Only because it keeps them on top. Right? So, if you're wondering, well, Doug, why should I stop smiling? First... The response will shock you. Second, you don't owe anybody a fucking smile. You don't owe a motherfucker an explanation. You don't have to tell anybody why. I know. There's a new instruction for Negroes. You see, the order of the day was police Negro thought. That shit's over. Some of them need a little help reminding them, that's all. The removal of that smile off your goddamned face assists in the delivery of the message. Let's continue. All right! Is Biden focusing enough on black voters? Hell yeah, he is. You see who she putting in the blue green court? <laughs> It's a quid pro quo, I'm telling you right now. You wait until the ether. He is going to wait for the ether of that nominee. He's going to wait to swear this sister in this queen. He's going to flash that on every news channel that there can possibly be. And about a day after she's on the court, on the dust cell. He's going to get in front of him. He's going to talk about the vote. 
and how he needs your vote. <laughs> and you know, it took a lot to put a to put them on the Supreme Court. And so, I need you to show up in the midterm. Here's what's gonna happen. Here's what might likely happen. I mean, I I I posted it. I don't know. Uh, you know, if they can't get folks in jail fast enough, okay, some shit's about to go down and they are serious. Here's the reason why I know Roger Stone is a real player. Roger Stone, let me tell you something. They're sinister, evil, smart, intelligent, ruthless, successful, truly successful individual that will do everything deceitful to get ahead. I mean, you have to admire the amount of avarice and hedonistic. I mean, the guy is ridiculously evil, right? Okay. So he gets in front of a crowd and he says, the plan. Now, the plan is simple. Flip the Senate, flip the House. That's nearly a given. It's going to go from Democrat to Republican. If that happens, they can elect Trump Speaker of the House. Then move to remove Biden as president for, well, you know, being held together by duct tape and super glue. Then impeach Kamala. And then put Trump in as president. Now listen, sounds fantastical, doesn't it? Let me tell you something. Unless people go to jail, that shit's nearly possible. And where will Negroes be after that, I wonder? Hmm. Shit's getting serious, huh? You look scared. It's exciting, though. We're at the end of uh, you know, it's a pivotal time here in, in history. You know, shit's about to flip. The script is about to go. It's going to be interesting. And if you are not prepared, you may get caught unaware. <laughs> Just keep your head on the swivel. Maintain focus. Don't take your eye off it. It'll get you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Well, you know, uh, black staff members of the Long Beach Opera. Oh, I remember that. They resigned. You know, I mean, the black staff members of the Long Beach Opera resign following allegations of Racism and misogyny. You know, on the on the way out, I mean, took their last check. Every um was just thinking, "What the fuck was you doing here in the first place? What the fuck are you doing?" I mean, really? I mean, every last was like in there going, "I don't know what the fuck they were doing here in the first place." Honestly, I'm just saying, "What the fuck?" Bye. I'm just telling you. All right. All right, baby. All right. Well, you know, I feel good. I think I'm going to quit while I'm ahead 40 minutes. You folks understand what I'm saying, right? How, how do we look to our ancestors in, in furthering this shit? How do we look? I want you to, to imagine the ancestors get full understanding of what's happening and they read the headlines I read and then watch the caricatures of their offspring act out. I wonder what would go through their mind. You know, it, it may come to their mind, they, they might even would consider doing away with some of us, I believe. Do you get that sense? Do you think that if, like if some of us just got here, like, like you know, let's just say 16, 1620. <laughs> I mean, fresh. Fresh attitude, strength, right? I'm going to bring them back, about 30 of them. They're going to get full comprehension of what's happening today. And then I'm going to show them some examples of Negro. And then I'm going to read Black Nude. What do you think their response would be? How many of us would they let live? You need to think about that. That's an interesting thought, isn't it? Hmm. I need you to understand where you came from, how you got here. We keep forgetting. My job is to at least remind you loudly. And that's what I will do! Because it's important. The kingdom approaches. 
kingdom of God approaches, and you better be ready. And you better not have voted for Biden. You better not be out there marching. You know what I'm saying? You better make the choice and make it every day. You know? Because uh, the future for this place does not look bright. There's a <clears throat> there's an agenda afoot. And you better be in front of the game instead of trying to catch up with the score. I'm not grace! Thanks so much for tuning in. All right, 1041 in the morning. Sunday, do not go to church. Don't do it. Listen, pick up your Bible and read it yourself. Put your $20 in your pocket. Mind your business. Same thing he preached last year about this time. That's what he's regurgitating. I've seen it done. Not a big deal to put together a sermon. I can smack one together just like that. Don't even got to write it down. So it's not an impressive thing going on up there. We can all do it. I need you to understand that. It's within all of us to minister. Priests and kings. All right. All right, folks, that's it. Uh, I think we're done, right? We good? We good? We good? We good? We got the Folgers? Everybody good? Right? All right, all right. Okay. Just want to uh, make sure everybody's uh, in good order. Thank you so much for showing up. And uh, Detrina, you know, thank you for what you do. And Juan Anderson, thank you for what you do. You guys are awesome. I really, really appreciate it. <clears throat> One thing before you go. Today's Sunday, 20th, March 2022. Just another goddamn day. One day closer to our deliverance. That's right! One day. But tomorrow, most of you, most of you have to go to work. You gotta trip the light, fantastic. You gotta risk it. You gotta go. You gotta. You gotta make the journey! Because bills gotta be fucking paid. Well, let me tell you something. As you go out amongst the populace, the United Snakes of America, surrounded by vipers, ready to attack your very being. Do yourselves a favor. Take my fucking advice. If you have to go, and some of you have to go, but if you have to, for God's sake, do yourself the service of getting that goddamn grin off your faces. There's nothing funny. Morning! Oh, drop your fucking phones. It's just me.